I get asked by many subscribers and viewers on my channel, is it possible to watch Netflix in FreeBSD? And yes, it is. Watch the video and I'll show you a very easy way to do it via a fantastic little script in no time at all. Now the method I'm going to use in this video is what is essentially used in Nomad BSD and to install either Google Chrome, Vivaldi or Brave. And it uses a small shell script which basically creates a small jail for some Ubuntu binaries that actually installs Widevine, which is essential for viewing some DRM content such as Netflix or Amazon Prime, etc. So, on a brand new install of FreeBSD with Mate, I've only installed Firefox, in which we're going to use Firefox now to go to the GitHub page of the particular project that we need to download. So, just go into Google and we will search. Let's get past the uh, I agree page. So we're going to Google. And if we type in Linux hyphen browser hyphen installer. So Linux browser installer. And it tells you that Linux browser installer is a born shell script to install Linux versions of the Chrome, Brave, or Vivaldi browsers under FreeBSD into a Linux or Ubuntu Focal jail. They allow you to use web services like Netflix, Prime Video or Spotify, which require Widevine. I'll link to that particular how-to as well, as well as the GitHub page that we're looking at. And as you can see, well, you could clone it, um, but all I'm going to do is just download the zip file containing the uh, necessary things. It's a lot easier. So we download, it's a very small file, so it downloads us almost instantly and extract it to the same directory, you might as well, I mean, it's, it makes it easier. So click on that, just move out of the way. I'm going to open up a terminal in this directory. Uh, it's a rather long uh, working directory name. Go into root. And we're just going to have a look at what's in the directory, you can see. And the thing that we're actually interested in is the shell script there. So I'll just paste that in. If we run it as dot slash Linux browser installer, it will bring up the uh, various command switches we can use. But really all we're going to be using in this demonstration is install. So if we've got Linux browser installer, install, and then Chrome. So you've got Chrome, Brave, or Vivaldi. And we'll let it do its thing. It does take a while. Um, really just on the first run it takes longer. On the second run everything's in place and it, it just installs the particular browser. So we've speeded this up quite a bit. There we go. And there's a menu entry. It does say that you should really start it using a command line, which will I will show you later. But for this instance, it actually makes a menu entry. So we'll just do that, and there we go. Google Chrome is running on FreeBSD. So uh, get started. And skip, if I can remember. And yeah, we'll just leave it at that. And skip again. Set that as default, actually, just in case. And no thank you. And there we go. So, the question that you will ask is, will it run Netflix? And yes, it does. Well, no, I'll just sign in. And after I've signed in, put the details, there it is. I'm not going um, to run anything because I'll get a copyright uh, claim or a strike. But there you go. There's the full gamut of Netflix. And there's a preview, and that's all we're going to do. So it works perfectly well. Fully functional, and very fast, actually. So we'll just open a new tab. And as you can see, I've already tested uh, 
the DRM before we got going. So to show you again that the DRM plays, this uh, little demo here, it says detected using Widevine. Uh, we'll leave the resolution as it is, I think. And as you can see, it plays well. So perfectly happy with that. I'm not going to play anymore, just in case. So as you can see, it's perfectly, uh, perfectly doable to get a nice bit of Widevine support in FreeBSD using the, the Linux way. It would be better if we had it native, but that's not going to happen, and that's really down to Google. Now, if we try and install Brave, it's the same procedure as before, but just put Brave at the end. And it is a lot quicker this time. There we go. And here we are in the Brave browser. Like I said in the Nomad BSD video, which I covered the same topics, uh, this is not one that I use at all, so um, I don't know the ins and outs, so I'll just skip the... There you go. I don't use it. It seems like a very competent browser. It seems fairly quick. Um, I did get questions on the other video about can I access Netflix uh, or DRM, you know, Widevine via any other browser other than Google Chrome. But so we'll have a look. We'll just do the Widevine test. And agree again. So we're going to test it on the same one. And there's a little bit more. Yeah, it's not if that needs to install like that. And again, uh, just like that. Restarts and yeah, it's playing. So yes, you don't have to watch Netflix, presumably, uh, in Google Chrome if you don't want to. It should work in Brave. And we'll have a look at the top. Make sure there's no runaway processes. Yeah, I think it looks fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to install Vivaldi. I think in the future, I think the, the range of browsers may increase. No, now we're going to try Vivaldi. Again, I'll fast forward and we'll start it with Linux hyphen Vivaldi. This is basically the same way we did with Brave. Linux hyphen Brave. And there we go. There's Vivaldi. So set default. And again, what we'll do. Oh, that's interesting. Jump to version. I don't know what we'll do with that. No, we'll leave that. And we'll just go to um, test the uh, Widevine. Again, if you didn't want to use uh, Brave or Google Chrome. And yes, of course it works. So that's really good. It works across all three browsers. So, what do I think of this script? I think this script is a fantastic addition to FreeBSD and Nomad BSD and all the rest of the BSDs if they want to use it. Um, but in particular, FreeBSD in that sense that it will answer the question that many viewers often uh, leave and say now, you know, they would move to FreeBSD full time if there was a way that you could watch Netflix on FreeBSD or if they could run Brave. Now this way will enable them to do that. It's fast, it's efficient. And there's no problems that I have actually encountered yet. Um, everything seems fairly stable. And the tools that you get to manage uh, your installation seem to be very comprehensive. So it would be great if this particular script was part of the uh, ports, uh, if it was in the package tree. Maybe it will. I mean, you know, the the author of the uh, script has done some wonderful things for uh, auto mounting, etc. Uh, little scripts that he's done for that, and also the work that he's put into Nomad BST and their wonderful implementation. So anything's possible. But I would recommend this script to anybody who is perhaps moving over from Linux, who perhaps wants to bring with them their wonderful Netflix library and they miss that or just anything like that. So try it out. Try it on a test machine if you wish. I mean, you know, or a, or a virtual machine. But give it a try and see what you think. 
Because I, I personally think it's fantastic, and I'll be using it myself all the time. And hopefully it will put to rest the, uh, the, the eternal question, can FreeBSD run Netflix? And yes, it can. It can now, anyway, at least. So anyway, hope you found this video useful in some way. If you did, leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And if you want to see other future content regarding FreeBSD, then please consider subscribing because it helps the channel out an enormous amount. And hopefully uh, I'll see you next time. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.